The app on Google Art and Culture under the title Utamaduni Wetu Meet the People of Kenya hosts cultural archives to make the rich culture and heritage accessible not just to Kenyans but across the world at the click of a button. Sports Culture and Heritage Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Mohamed says the ministry collaborated with the National Museums of Kenya, Kenya Broadcasting Corporation and Google to enable Kenyans engage with local art and culture for a positive impact. The digitization of our intangible heritage will help us better preserve and broaden access to collections, but it will also enable us to engage, to inform and inspire audiences in a way that will have a deep and positive in impact on society as a whole. Step into St. Paul's Cathedral, I can do that, I can walk around. Google Arts and Culture Institute Director Amit Sood says the app currently has 28 museums under one platform aimed at educating and inspiring through visuals. Uh, you can zoom in with your just a pinch of your finger, you can zoom into brush stroke level details using a camera technology we call the art camera. You can walk around museums using Street View. And you can do a lot of other fun stuff in the app, like take a selfie and match yourself using machine learning to a portrait around the world. Or you can put a painting in your room and using augmented reality walk around that painting. So the app is really like a playground uh, to educate yourself to make culture more interesting, but most importantly, to make it accessible to anybody with a telephone. For about 110 years, the National Museums of Kenya has preserved the country's rich culture and heritage, with over 10 million specimens to be exhibited. These 10 million specimens, even if you, are, you built 100 museums, you will never be able to display all of it at the same time. That is why we think uh, the, the digitizing and putting it online is one of the best ways to make this material available in Kenya. We keep the collective memory of the nation and, and uh, the collective memory of the nation needs to be seen. You don't want, you, have, you keep your memory so that you can refer to it. If we put these things uh, in the, boo, in the uh, storage, then we are not doing justice to the Kenyans who want to see these things going on. The national broadcaster KBC has over 97,000 hours of audiovisual files in its archives, according to KBC Managing Director Naim Bilal. We are part of a major national initiative together with the National Museums of Kenya, uh, Kenya National Archives, the Department of Information, Department of Film Services, and other government organizations or institutions that may be holding material of heritage value. We intend to bring all this material under one digital platform for Kenyans to be able to access it. Apart from that at KBC, you know, we have the Heritage Television Channel. That is going to be like our history channel that we are working on. And Kenyans will be able to access the history of the country through that channel. According to Google, 50% of the world interacts online and 53% of the Kenyan population enjoys engagement on the cyberspace. It may have been a while since you made a visit to the Kenyan museums, the art centers, or even the galleries. But the National Museums of Kenya now says the culture and the heritage of Kenya is now at your disposal. Kamchemenza, Channel 1 News, Nairobi.